Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to share with you some tips on how to improve your studying. These are tips that I personally used in graduate school and undergrad in aerospace engineering. If you're interested in finding out what my GPA is, I recommend this video or this one, one of these sites, where I share my undergraduate GPA. But before we begin, as usual, if you're not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. And if you found this um, video helpful in any way, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. And also, I just wanted to let you know that I just started a Twitch channel where I talk to, to you guys and I answer a lot of questions. So, so if you have any questions for me and you want me to answer them, please make sure to follow me on Twitch. We usually do kind of Q and A's, we play Kerbal Space program, we study and work together. So, so yeah, hope to see you on Twitch. I truly believe that studying for exams is actually a process that starts throughout the semester, not just before the exam. By that, I mean that you start preparing yourself in lecture, doing when you're doing your homework, uh, when you're writing your notes, etc. With that being said, the first tip that I personally think is one of the things that really, really helped me is taking notes. So when you're in lecture taking notes, make sure that you write every single thing that the professor says, even if it's not on the lecture notes. I know that sounds like a lot, but I really believe that that's what helped me the most. For example, I would write, of course, the things that the professor has on the screen or on Blackboard or something like that. But at the same time, I would write the side notes that the professor talks about in lecture. Most of the time, those side notes are not necessarily written anywhere. Um, and in the beginning, I used to think, well, I'm gonna remember this, but if we're being honest, with the amount of information that you are bombarded with in undergrad, especially in engineering, there's really no way you're gonna remember it. So make sure you write every single thing that is shared in lecture. The second tip is homework. Homework is very important as sometimes the exams are pretty similar, not really that similar, but based on the homework. Usually for our engineering classes, the homework is much more difficult than the exams. Usually, some classes, you know, sometimes the, the exams are as difficult as your homework. With that being said, it is really important that when you finish your homework and you submit it and you get it back and you know where you lost points or something that you did wrong, make sure that you check out the homework solution that the professor will share with you and make sure that you understand every single thing that went wrong and why you lost those points and that you understand really how to solve whatever you did wrong in the homework. Don't wait until it's exam time just because things will pile up eventually and you won't have time to go through everything. So the sooner you get to that, the better. Third tip that I recommend you follow is make sure you read the material before you go into lecture. I know a lot of students don't really think of that as important because they think, well, I'm already going to hear that from the professor. Why should I read it beforehand? Honestly, I really, really think there is value in familiarizing yourself with the um, information that the lecture will cover. That way you're able to ask questions. So if you read the material beforehand, you kind of have an idea on what the professor is gonna cover and then the parts that you didn't understand while doing your reading, you could ask the questions right there and then. I know sometimes people wanna wait until office hours, but I think it's probably better um, to be able to answer, like ask questions in class and that way you can take notes uh, while, while in lecture. Okay, the fourth thing is really, really important. Allow yourself enough time to study for an exam. I can't reiterate that enough. Unfortunately, a weekend is not going to be enough for studying for some of the exams. Some classes, yes, you know, but a lot of times engineering classes, specifically in my case in aerospace engineering, there's no way you can cover everything, especially for finals, um, in one weekend. So make sure you allow yourself enough time to study for an exam. Just because you will have to go through your lecture notes, you'll have to go through the problems that you do in class and the homework problems. So that's a lot of things to cover. And if you allow yourself only one weekend, it's gonna to be too overwhelming. And I can guarantee you right now that um, you won't be able to get all the information into your brain. Cramming is actually not efficient when it comes to engineering. It might work for other classes, but engineering cramming is not the way to go. Last but not least, focus on one subject at a time. I know some people like to jump from one subject to the other while they're studying for their exams, but I don't think that's the right way to do it. Just because you, 
and the way I do it is I structure my study. So I write, write down every single thing that I need to study for. For example, what chapters I need to go over, what homework numbers I need to go over, what lectures I need to go over. And I would go through that list one, uh, one at a time. And I don't know, if I jump from one subject to another, I feel like I lose a lot of the things that I studied for that specific first subject. So I think it's really important to uh, set a certain amount of days or like a certain amount of hours for that specific subject, finish it up and make sure you understand everything and then move on to the next one. That's why in the beginning I did say that making sure that you manage your time and set enough time to study for uh, different exams is really, really important. Don't have one weekend to study for three exams because you will not, one of those subjects is going to suffer for sure. All right, that was all for today. I really hope this was helpful to you guys. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other tips you think I missed or you think you do that have helped you in your studies, please make sure to share them in the comments below just so that everyone can benefit from them. From them. Um, and yeah, that would be all for today. Uh, thank you for deciding to watch this video and I will see you next time. Bye.